assalamu alaikum viewers today we will start with the new topic that is residential access land and van so point to point access dial up modem dial up wire modem uh, this is uh, this use up to 56 kbps direct access to router and can't serve and phone at same time digital subscriber line dsl deployment telephone company uh, typically deploy, deployed by a telephone company and telephone line carries simultaneously both data and telephone signals a high speed downstream channel in the 50 kilohertz to 1 megahertz band a medium speed upstream channel in the 4 kilohertz to 50 kilohertz band and ordinary two way telephone channel in the 0 to 4 kilohertz band as downstream and upstream rates are different so access is asymmetric two major advantages over dial up can transmit and receive data at much higher rate simultaneously talk on phone and access the internet cable modems cable internet access max use the cable television company's existing cable infrastructure fiber optics connects the cable head office to neighborhood junction from which the traditional coaxial cable reach to individual houses neighborhood junction support 500 to 5000 houses requires a special modem called cable modem hfc so HFC stands for hybrid fiber coax. It is asymmetric up to 30, um, uh, 30 uh, megabits per second downstream and 2 megabit per second upstream. Network of cable and fiber attaches home to ISP router. Homes share access to router. Cable internet is shared medium access. This is the overview of cable network architecture. So, this is the cable header and these are home networks. Cable is distributed in the network to each home and this is the overview of uh, uh, example of one home in which uh, these all things uses uh, the internet. This is the cable modem. One wire is uh, coaxial wire is uh, given to TV and the other is given to PC. So, fiber to the home, FTTH. Telcos have recently laid optical fiber from their central office to homes. Several solutions to provide FTTH direct fiber, each fiber leaving central office is shared by many homes. Active optical network uh, uh, that is uses Ethernet approach and passive optical network that uses shared approach. In passive optical network architecture, all packets sent from optical line terminator to the splitter are indicated at the splitter. So this is example of or uh, and an overview of active optical network and passive optical network. See these are the uh, four splitters and this is a multi service access node. From one splitter each connection is given to the different homes and from this splitter it is, the connection is given to uh, this optical uh, unit from that optical unit the connection is given to the uh, TV uh, computer and uh, voice uh, telephone call uh, using for telephone call here comes local area networks LAN company university local area network connects end system to edge router ethernet 10 mbps 10 MB, Mbps, 100 Mbps and 1 uh, GPS, Gbps, 10 Gbps into Ethernet. Modern configuration, end systems connects into Ethernet switch. We will study about LAN more in chapter number 5 inshallah. So wireless access networks, shared wireless access network connects end system to router via base station, wireless LANs uh, this is the uh, Wi-Fi uh, uh, bandwidth, 11 to 54 megabytes per second. Wider area network, uh, wider area wireless access provided by telco operator, one Mbps over cellular system. Next up, WiMAX over wide area. This is the overview. One is the router, and uh, the wireless signals are uh, distributed over uh, different hosts mobile host you can say are the, the router which we are using at homes and connected by, uh, by PCs so thank you very much this is all about uh, the networks and uh, we will uh, 
further discuss these topics in next video inshallah please subscribe our channel for further videos thank you